imagine you minding your own business you just pop off to the to, to the supermarket to grab an avocado and a pasta for your for your dinner that night you're just gonna drop that off and then turn around and go pick up the kids and as you're doing all of that a hundred cop cars arrive to raid your neighbors who have been harboring 300 million rand worth of drugs what do you do Khoutin police have seized drugs worth an estimated 300 million rand in a raid in four ways. Khoutin police have confiscated drugs. South African police services has made yet another drug bust in Johannesburg four ways. Guys, I live in Wild. four ways, so you can, you can understand, you can understand exactly. what is happening to me right now. Who are our neighbours? We have got Anonymous on the line. We're not going to ask which estate it is because apparently currently the cops are still there. Well, As they should be. They're picking up clues. Oh, my word. And uh, so we're going to keep her anonymous. Anonymous, thank you so much for your time. Good morning and welcome to Anelia and the Club. Um, good morning, Anelia. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, madam, tell us, around what time was this? Um, it was around nine o'clock uh, last night. Last <gasps> night? In the, in the so dark? They gave them the whole day to think yeah, that they got no yeah. that. Okay, so nine at night, what are you doing? I'm um, coming in. Um, I'd gone. Um, I'd gone to see um, my mom, and then when I came, uh, when I drove in, I, I decided, oh, let me go get some dinner first. So mm. I went to get some takeaway, and I just driven in, and that's when I saw this commotion. Um, initially, obviously, I was like, "What's going on here?" Nosy. Yeah, good so girl. Like, good hey, girl. What's going on? Good girl. Okay. So okay. and um. You know, as as a as an owner um, of the place, I obviously was wanted to know what was going on. So I said, "Hey, what's going on?" Mm. And then, Nick, you no, know, had guns in my face and was told to stay. move. Okay, <laughs> so can you see that it's cops? Are they dressed in cop uniforms? Are the cars marked? Are they sirens? Um, it's a, the unmarked vehicle. Oh, okay, but they've got uniforms on that don't say anything. Oh. So then, what do they say to you? They like they like we here. We've got a. Do they have a warrant? How does it work? They, the the security tried to speak to them. They did not give them any information. They literally said to the security, "Open or yeah, we're gonna break it down." So they opened. Uh, they they got in like by force, basically. Okay. So how far is the gate to the house that they were going to? I would say about. Be four hundred meters. Okay. okay. So the, the the people in the house that was being raided, did you did you know who lives there? Have you ever interacted with them? Did you ever suspect anything? <laughs> no. So actually, um, uh, according to information that I did receive, um, it, it, it is the short rental, so it's an Airbnb. <gasps> so we've never met the actual owner. Oh. So these might have been people who actually were using this unit for the purpose of storing these drugs. 100%. And from also what I heard, it's like um, the unmarked vehicle or the investigation, because there was private security as well there. Um, it looked like they were followed from the airport. Okay. okay. All right. So now, normally this house that is you now discovered is, is, is a kind of an Airbnb is there a lot of traffic there? Do you see a lot of lots of cars outside? What type of cars are there? No, nothing. We live in a very quiet complex, so it's, it's not so quiet. <laughs> last night was not quiet at all, um, but definitely it's generally a very chilled, mm. quiet area. Um, my thoughts, my personal. This is just my personal opinion. Yes. I would think that is exactly why maybe they used that particular oh, yeah. car. Because no one would suspect okay. it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you, you may have broken off. Do you think that it's the security guards that tipped the cops? Who, like, like who, who ratted them out? Do you, what, what? We have no idea who told anybody. We don't think it's the security guards. Yeah. We don't know. We don't even know what time. They, it looks like, a, um, so this is what I understand. I understand some people arrived earlier in the day. Mm. And then others arrived in the evening. So mm. it was two batches of people. Oh. So, do, so now you say you're nosy and we love this. Please stay nosy. So now, did you go stand at your house and watch? Were people getting walked out in handcuffs, uh, putting, being forced? <laughs> yes. Yeah, really? Yes. Run yep. up through that, girl. Don't hold back. 
Um, so they cordoned off the, the area. They went up the stairs um, and then they came out. You could see some people were handcuffed or had a hand behind their back. Mm-hmm. And um, they also uh, forced their way into a car that was parked outside. Okay. And was the search limited to just this one unit? Yes, it was just they knew exactly where they were going. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. And, and you say that they, they followed them from the airport. So this person obviously arrived with all the drugs. That's what probably yes. happened. Yes. Yes. So, so some of the bags were, you could see they had the tags and they had the, you know, the plastic. Mm. When, when someone protects their luggage. <laughs> yes, because so there were suitcases in the unit. Okay. Yes. Okay. And what, what is the communication on the complex WhatsApp group? What are they telling you guys? And what are you guys asking? The question obviously is, you know, like, uh, you know, what is, what is going to happen going forward with short term leasing? You see, mm. Um, mm. which is a concern, um, and what what can be done better? I think um, from the body corporate perspective, people need to um, just maybe sit around and see what they could do better. Look, I don't think this is something that anyone can avoid, mm. like necessarily. It can happen anywhere. It can happen at a private house. Mm. It can happen anywhere. Um, so, but the people are obviously. Anxious uh, people um, are want want some feedback, mm. but I do believe that you know it, it is worth to commend the police and the private security companies for you know mm. for acting so quickly and you know keeping people safe basically. And you finally ate your dinner, hey, the one that you had to go buy after, after all Let of the. Let me com- tell you something. The yeah. way the way this anonymous is nosy. I ate my dinner maybe like at 12 o'clock. I was just like going out every five minutes. I was like going out every five minutes. And then eventually this man was like, I, I think we better tell her something. And they were like, listen, this is all we can tell you is that it's a crime scene. You go inside. Okay. So me, I was like, I want to know what's going on. When the cops are like, just give her some information <laughs> so she can go to bed. Oh, Anonymous, they thank you like, so much. This lady is a problem. <laughs> She's that neighbor. She, thank you so much, Anonymous. You made us feel like we were yeah. right there. We were right there. We, we're going to keep your number. We want to keep this uh, this information going. Mm-hmm. Every time you find out something, you let us know and we'll just call you sporadically as well. My, my uh, question is one, though. Mm-hmm. When cops come to raid your estate, n- now, guys, they're in unmarked vehicles. They're wearing uniform that's also not marked. I, mm. guess, I get that it has to be like a covert like operation right Mm -hmm. but there must be some sort of thing that says we are the cops because what's stopping 40 random vehicles with sirens and 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 people with guns from just raiding any house and coming in and taking things well given the size of the operation and this is based on what i saw i mean atlenda mate who's the police spokesperson she was in a marked uniform and there were other cops as well so i would imagine not everyone was in unmarked clothing because ultimately if there's a drug bust and there are criminals in your complex and the cops are wearing uniforms and branded vehicles. Okay. Defeats the purpose. Okay. okay. That's my thinking. I would also think that they would be carrying some sort of identification. Yeah, they'd be able to mm. show Like you. in the car, they'd be able to show you proper But sets. you see what Anonymous said when she asked them what's going on, they just waved a gun in her face and said she must step out of the way. This is official police business. You see. Which yeah. can get dangerous. We've seen it in the past. Yeah, one. Mm. Anele and the club on 947.